Welcome to the series of how these renders were made. Today we are going to see this project made by a small studio called Leskia, based in Brest, Belarus, led by Joan Lyasichinsky, which specializes in architectural design and visualization. For this project they use the programs AutoCAD, 3ds Max, Corona Render, Forest Pack, Corona Image Editor, and Photoshop. In this project they used Zref Scene, as it saves disk space and the scene can be saved in seconds. In complex scenes, the use of externally referenced scenes makes it easier to optimize resource performance. For some views, where objects are not seen on camera, we can disable external links that consume a lot of resources. The main scene is empty, it only contains the render, light, and camera settings. In this image, we can see the layers when all the external links of the external reference scenes are connected. For the components, they created a scene with a tree that was used to set the materials of the interior objects. This tree was downloaded from hdrehaven.com. The scene presets can be loaded in case you change the settings to make sure they will be exactly the same in the final scene. Therefore, all components used in this project were prepared and then loaded into the working scene as external reference objects. Zref, after analyzing the vegetation in the area around the building, all these assets were prepared. In separate scenes and with the help of Forest Pack, the plant formation sets were developed. They used splines to define different areas of the plant distribution. In total, 19 forest pack models were used. For the pond algae, they used a mega skin's moss texture, which was projected onto a simple plane, together with a displacement map and an opacity map. In addition, the model was randomly scattered across the bottom of the pond. As for the wavelets, in this image we can see the settings. A gradient map was created in the Corona displacement channel, so the wavelets were obtained by displacement. The Corona displacement map was connected to the source map slot. When the lily stems touched the water surface, waves were generated. The fog was also produced with the corona displacement map. A fog box was made over the ponds and fog surface planes were placed flush with the water. Important, never place the camera inside the volume of the box, otherwise the effect will not work due to a corona render limit. They divided the building into constructive and architectural parts. The layers were ordered according to the architectural and structural elements, for example structure, slab, floor, column, beam, etc. The basis for the model was the drawings they made in AutoCAD. The name of the layers in the drawings corresponds to the layers in the 3DS Max scenes. When modeling the building, all constructive aspects were taken into account. The building did not have an abundance of materials. Therefore, it was necessary to diversify the materials used. The material by element modifier was used which allows different material IDs to be applied to objects containing multiple random elements. The dirt map and ambient occlusion were also implemented on each material. A storyboard was developed consisting of 10 lighting scenarios, so that the building could be viewed from early morning to late evening on a day. Each master scene contained preset settings for its scenario. Lighting was one of the most important aspects of the project. They used different trees as seen in the image. The the trees are from PGSKIES. They also used atmospheric fog in many cases to soften the light. The raindrops were rendered separately and combined with the main image in post-production. This allowed them to adjust the rain effect more flexibly, and they were also able to obtain a blurred DOF in the foreground. To cope with this task, the camera used a short shutter speed with a wide aperture, and the raindrops were rendered with long exposures so that motion blur slightly blurred them in motion. To generate the rain, we used the Tyflo plugin, which can be downloaded for free. I leave a link in the description. A particle system was used to create rain. The source of particles was the plane above the building. To prevent the drops from entering the building, a model was added on the roof of the house, which was called Drain Deflector. When setting up the render, the image must be saved in Coronly XR, XR, so that the image can be opened in Corona Image Editor CIE. To create the bokeh effect, 
which is this type of blur, in the Corona camera's settings, in the Advanced Effects section, the center bias and vignette team values were set to 1. The Corona CIE Image Editor is a standalone application that allows you to load a Corona XR XR file and apply to it all the post-processing operations that are available in Corona Render Frame Buffer VFB, including light mix adjustment, denoising, loot, bloom and glare, without the need to create a new render. In this application, the final adjustments were made and all the render elements and masks were saved in PNG format for later post-production in Photoshop. In general, the post-production of this project was quite smooth and most of the work was done in Corona Image Editor CIE. We leave you with the final images that have no waste, but first, if you like the video give like and subscribe to analyze more projects. Stop it!